for what we've got now, is we're doing MOSFET switching with an inductive load and a resistor here, so inductive, inductive resistive load. Switching my um, lamp here, uh, 24 volts coming in. Uh, here's the diode current and diode voltage, freewheel diode uh, current and voltage. And you see here a classic uh, freewheel diode recovery. So we've got the load current coming in, uh, in the diode. And then as we try to, um, uh, as we turn on the MOSFET, we have to take the current out of the diode and uh, just turn it off for a moment. And you see that uh, the current drops down beyond zero and goes negative for a little bit with a very classic uh, shape with the deidity here. And we're, we're removing a portion of charge there in the device. Uh, through that negative current period. Once that's over, the volts on the diode can collapse, or increase rather, uh, and it can start to block. It can't block until it's removed this level of charge from within the device. So if we bring up the voltage, oops, and there's the voltage across it. Notice how it uh, coincides precisely with this corner here, coincides with the voltage moving very rapidly. And what you also notice is that there's considerable amount of ringing through here. We, have, we still have uh, capacitance within the MOSFET, the stray inductance in the circuit, and we are ending up with this high frequency ringing uh, superimposed on the basic voltage waveform uh, that we should be getting across the MOSFET. And that's very classic and something that always needs to be watched. We need to have fast diodes here for a switching circuit working at 13, 14 kilohertz. So we need a fast diode to give us a small amount of charge there. So they're known as fast. And then we also try to make them soft recovery. So this comes back more gently to stop this ringing. So we sometimes talk about fast and soft type of diodes. This is not particularly soft, it jerks back. And that jerk then produces all of this ringing coming down there. The volts are rising to their uh, final value rather slowly because the MOSFET is not being switched uh, terribly fast. We do have to add that it is on the 250 nanosecond time frame. So this is actually very fast uh, switching here. Okay, so that's classic diode recovery, classic waveforms and a few pointers. Use your fast diodes, try and choose fast and soft recovery if you can. More expensive of course, higher on state voltage but we can remove some of this ringing or make your circuit much more compact and design it much more carefully uh, to avoid stray inductances ringing with the capacitance of the diode after recovery. That's it.